So let's take a look at how you sample instruments and devices directly using the sampling inputs. Up until now we've been using a mixer with auxiliary sends to control the level, but you don't really have to do that. You can be more direct and really cut out the middleman. So we've got the same Dr. Octor X loaded and the same drum loop. So let's get that playing. Now currently you can't hear anything because the outputs are disconnected. And if we flip the rack round, you can see that here. There's absolutely nothing connected and uh, that's why we can't hear any audio. But if we take the main outputs here and feed them into the sampling inputs, we can hear them. I've got the monitor mode activated. And I'll explain that in a future video, but don't worry too much about that now. So if we activate this, we can see we've got level coming in and we can control it directly with the output. Now, really, we can do this with any instrument. I'll just disconnect this now. And we could really use a synthesizer, so we'll use a Maelstrom, and that's connected to the mixer automatically, but we can bypass that and send it straight to the sampling inputs. And anything that's going into our sampling input in this way will be sampled directly, no matter what device you use. So as you can see, it's really straightforward to plug your devices directly into the sampling inputs, and it's a great way of missing out any processing or any EQ and getting a very direct sound. Next up, we'll look at how to route external sounds that are coming from outside reason and that are maybe plugged into your audio interface and how to get these into the sampling inputs in the same way.